Hey guys, Mike here, and welcome to another edition of Dragon Ball Plot Holes and Inconsistencies, a show where we look at the plot holes and inconsistencies in the Dragon Ball Z anime and manga. The inconsistency we're going to talk about in this episode has to do with where characters go when they die. Now, as we know in Dragon Ball, when characters die, they go to the afterlife, otherwise known as Otherworld. And whether or not they're good or bad, they get in line for the check-in station to step before King Yama and be judged. All those who are judged to be good by their deeds in life are sent to heaven, which according to the map drawn by Akira Toriyama is a large planet in the afterlife. We actually get a look at this planet during the anime and manga, as this is where Goku trains with King Kai during the seven year gap. On the other side of the coin, all those who are judged to be evil are sent to hell, where their soul is purified and they are reincarnated. Although hell is never depicted in the manga, it is shown many times in the anime. For instance, during the Otherworld Tournament filler arc, in which Goku and Pycon go down to hell to try and defeat Cell, Frieza, and his father when they're trying to escape from that dimension. Now this rule is established in both the anime and the manga and is supposed to be set in stone. However, there are many times during the anime and manga during which this is contradicted. So where does this inconsistency begin, and what does it entail? Well, let's take a more detailed look at this, and find out. Well, the first inconsistency that's shown in the anime and manga dates back all the way to the original Dragon Ball, or more specifically, to the King Piccolo arc. During the King Piccolo arc, we're told that anyone King Piccolo kills is not able to go to the afterlife. Rather, their spirit is doomed to haunt the Earth for all eternity. As a result, Goku is given extra incentive to defeat and kill King Piccolo, because all of his friends and the people that he knew from the tournaments are now suffering. Now, of course, this contradicts the idea that everyone who dies is supposed to go before King Yama and is judged before being sent to their destination. And while the idea that King Piccolo is a demon is tried to use to justify this shift in dynamic, once Dragon Ball Z rolls around and Piccolo is revealed to be an alien, this no longer makes sense. Furthermore, even if we try and justify both of these ideas as still being in effect, the fact of the matter is this is still contradicted once we get to Dragon Ball Z. Whereas Piccolo Jr. still claims to be King Piccolo during his fight against Goku in Dragon Ball, both Goku and Raditz, two people who he kills at the beginning of the series, are said to go to the afterlife and appear before King Yama in the check-in station. And even if we try and say that Goku sacrificed himself and perhaps this nullifies Piccolo's effect, Goku is told by King Yama that Raditz appeared before him and was judged and sent to hell. So this is clearly an inconsistency. Speaking of Goku, within the same conversation, yet another change in the dynamic appears. During this conversation, Goku is allowed to go to train with King Kai instead of going to heaven. This was a special arrangement agreed upon by King Yama and Kami. This of course changed is the already explained idea that people who die either go to heaven or go to hell. But although this is given a proper explanation as to why it's an exception to the general rule, this gives way to another inconsistency that happens a little bit later on in the series. Now I was mentioning Piccolo before, and of course another inconsistency appears with him once again a little bit later in the series. As I referenced in the first plot holes video about the afterlife, which will be found in the description, Piccolo creates another inconsistency when he starts to train on King Kai's planet with the other Z fighters. The reason for this is while Goku and the other Z fighters were good guys, and they both died protecting and sacrificing themselves trying to defend the Earth, up until this point in the series, Piccolo is always a villain, and never a good guy. And even though he sacrificed himself to save Gohan and try and defend the Earth from the Saiyans, he was still a bad guy up until this point. So for all intents and purposes, he should have been sent to hell. And of course, if we once again take into account the anime, as we did in the last part, and include the filler in the story, then there are also other examples of people being brought to King Kai's planet who for all intents and purposes should have gone to hell. And of course, what I'm referring to is when the Ginyu Force shows up on King Kai's planet to fight the Z fighters in the filler during the Frieza fight. Once again, this is also another inconsistency because of the fact that even though King Kai has been stayed to be able to allow people to come to his planet, it's initially said that only good people can do so. Speaking of King Kai, this whole situation actually takes into account another big problem that has to do with where souls can go when they die. As we see, after the destruction of Namek and the death of Krillin by Frieza's hand, Bulma and the others have gathered the Namekian Dragon Balls on Earth to try and bring him back to life. However, as King Kai points out, if they bring Krillin back to life with his body, he'll appear in space where Namek used to be, and die in the vacuum of space. When they ask King Kai if he can bring 
bring Krillin's soul to Earth, King Kai responds that he's unable to because Krillin's soul is out of his jurisdiction. Since the Ginyu Force also died on Namek, this would by definition make the entire filler scene impossible. Not only this, but since we know King Yama's check-in station is well within King Kai's jurisdiction, this must mean that Krillin did not go there when he died, nor did the Ginyu Force or anyone else who died on Namek. And since Bulma actually has to use the Dragon Balls to bring Krillin's soul to the check-in station, then this immediately contradicts the idea that anyone who dies appears before King Yama in his check-in station. And while a little while after this it's retconned to where King Kai is only one of four Kais who watches over one corner of the universe, and it's likely that each of these corners has their own check-in station as well, it's still an inconsistency because of the fact that this is never explained. The next big inconsistency appears later on during the Cell Game Saga, and it calls into question the entire dynamic once again. After Goku sacrifices himself during the Cell Games in order to protect the Earth from Cell's explosion, he and the recently killed King Kai appear as spirits floating above Snake Way. It's during this point that Goku realizes that Cell is not with them on Snake Way, and King Kai uses this to determine that Cell is still alive. However, none of this actually makes any sense, considering that Goku, King Kai, and Cell shouldn't have gone to Snake Way in the first place. Rather, as King Kai even points out, anyone who dies is supposed to appear before King Yama. So any of these three appearing on Snake Way after their deaths makes no sense because they should have immediately appeared in line waiting to meet with King Yama. However, this is only the tip of the iceberg for this example because of the fact that Cell shouldn't have even appeared there at all, considering where he came from. After all, if we consider that Cell came from the future in a completely different timeline than the main one, it makes no sense for Cell to have gone to the afterlife in the main timeline. Cell's timeline is completely separate from the main timeline, which essentially makes it its own universe. As a result, it should have its own heaven, hell, and check-in station that are completely separate from everything else. Otherwise, there would be multiple versions of the same characters within the same afterlife. So when Cell dies, how could he be properly judged or go to anywhere in that afterlife considering he's not from that universe? This same rule would also apply to future Trunks who is killed at Cell's hands after Cell returns. So where exactly would future Trunks go after he dies considering that he's not from that universe? And there's also another version of Trunks within the same universe. This is especially troublesome because of the fact that Trunks is wished back to life along with all the others that Cell killed. If Trunks had passed into a completely different afterlife in a completely different timeline, then by all means the Dragon Ball shouldn't have been able to bring him back, and if they could, then the Dragon Ball should have been used to be able to bring back the Z Fighters from Trunks' own timeline. So this alone creates a massive number of inconsistencies which doesn't make sense when put underneath a microscope, and in either case it doesn't make any sense when we later see Cell in the filler arcs in Hell. Now the next big inconsistency appears during the Boo arc, specifically when Goku appears before King Yama and King Yama tells him about Deborah. At this point in time, King Yama tells Goku that after discovering that Deborah was the king of the demon realm, he decided to send him to heaven instead of hell because he believed that Deborah would love hell. Now, of course, this contradicts the idea that anyone who is bad is sent to hell and anyone who is good is sent to heaven, because in this case, King Yama sent someone who's clearly pure evil to heaven, a place that's supposed to be filled with good people. So Deborah's destination being changed simply because he would like one over the other doesn't doesn't make any sense considering how the rules are set up. And if King Yama can change the rules this often, it kind of makes the entire point of a judgment move. And once again, in the same arc, King Yama's discretion comes up as a point of contention when he makes another questionable judgment call. As when Vegeta sacrifices himself in a failed attempt to kill Boo instead of going to hell as Piccolo told him, we instead find out that King Yama actually saved his body as a backup plan for someone to fight Boo and to prevent him from destroying the universe. And while this makes sense as a sort of tactic, it doesn't make sense within the general idea that anyone who dies is supposed to go to either heaven or hell. And once again, it's another example of the rule changing simply to cater to the plot. Although the entire Boo saga makes a joke out of this established rule, as we see time and time again, Goku goes anywhere that he wants in the afterlife, even though he's supposed to return to heaven. Although the single biggest example of this contradiction being played up for last would have to happen when Goku is brought back to life by Old Kai. Of course, as we all remember, when the the old Kai sacrifices himself so that his life can go to Goku. There is a sad moment in which everyone is contemplating his death. However, immediately after this, the old Kai shoots up with a halo on his head and tells Goku to get ready and go to Earth. But of course, the old Kai should have immediately been transported to King Yama.
on the check-in station, or another check-in station somewhere close to where their proximity was. In the end, this example epitomizes the entire problem with the inconsistencies in this rule, and that Akira Toriyama does not care about consistency when it comes to the plot and plot elements happening in the story. So this is just another example of a victim to plot holes and inconsistencies that happen in the Dragon Ball Z anime and manga. Well, my name is Mike, and this has been another episode of Dragon Ball Plot Holes and Inconsistencies. Tell me your own thoughts in the comments section, what you thought of this video, and what you would like to see me talk about in the future. Also, if you have any other questions, don't forget to check out my Ask FM, which will be in the description. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. And as I always say, stick around, because there will be a lot more to come in the future. And you better subscribe!